This is live. We have a bunch of T's, a bunch of complexities spamming down mid. They've done relatively no damage, taken a little bit themselves, and they'll go with a very, very passive opening, not even controlling palm and mid, but staying off palm, staying off cat, staying out of B tunnels, and the bomb will sit outside of B tunnels. Take a look at the position right now of Hiko. He's going to walk that in, hoping that Manajuma rotates. I, the other possibility is that we're going to see a bit of uh, a mid to B or cat pressure into a spawn drop to mid to B. Yeah, also that. Do we have a smoke purchase for that? We do. Sean Gares has one. And Dborn has claimed the first of the round. Minikur joins. That's Sean Gares off the field. Three alive for complexity. And now that rap to B doesn't seem as likely, so we're just going to have Hiko do his thing. Did Desi see him? I wonder. 50 seconds left on the clock. You've got two players out there, nothing in anger, kind of roaming around, trying to figure out if they can get a kill, make this an unfair fight at bombsite B. But it's tough if Miniker does that. Charge with the smoke, maybe nothing will get the first kill of the round. Does Shroud is dropped, and then maybe traded. Not. 25 seconds remain. All the T's know that the bomb has to be here, excuse me, the CT's, so the rotates are on. It's just going to be a pure gunfight. Nice shots by Manicure. You know what? He's got a triple on the round already, and he's looking pretty, pretty good. Yup, I said to look out for him. But a three-for-one trade coming in there, like three complexity members went down before they got the first kill. That's definitely so not something that you want to see on a pistol round. But again, Jumas picking up the counter terrorist pistol, and, and like I said, they'll probably pick up probably around eight rounds, maybe, yeah, or probably probably around 8 to 10 rounds on their counter terrorist side, so probably a, a strong start coming in here. And uh, Complexity kind of wanting to do that B split, but they, they got picked off in middle. I think Miniker got a nice one shot and kind of like stopped that entire push by Complexity. But yeah, without making some, some grown man plays, Complexity was dead in the waters once it was at 2 versus 4. Mr. Dazed, we need to actually get your powers of foresight here. What's the end score of this map? I actually think it's going to be something like 16-8 for Manajuma, depending on pistols. Like, I think if Manajuma wins the T pistol, we'll see like a 16-8. If they don't, we'll see like a 16-11 to 16-12. Like, the way Manajuma is going to play on CT side, I can already tell you right now, they're going to take a lot of calculated risks um, based off what Drew Irukanji feels complexity are going to do. So he's going to be making a lot of reads, and they're going to be doing a lot of things that you might think, like to the naked eye, what the hell is this? Like, they just have four people on catwalk, for instance, or something like that. Or three people on catwalk and one in CT spawn or something like that, you know? But it's actually really intelligent calculated risk based off of what he sees Cole doing. And I think he's going to call really, really well on the CT side half, and I think they're going to get a lot of rounds. And sprays and tucks back in, allows his second player from long to spray down. Eric Khan just come back and at a sort of an acute angle has moved back in. So we have every CT still alive and they've picked apart this eco round. But in the smoke, we did get a suicide plant. The defuse starts now. There will be no clutch, not from Hiko at least. At least the bomb plant happens and the economy builds. And there's the round. How come Hiko won't die? How come nobody can kill him? He's just a god. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to take the time to ask Daze what he did 10 minutes before the match went live. Oh, is this a, okay. is that the thing? He, is... he went onto CSGL and changed his bet from Manajuma to Complexity. Oh, okay. as per, like, what are you talking about? As per my suggestion. <laughs> yup. To your well, suggestion. Yup. <laughs> You you are not terribly you're not terribly far off right now. Complexity does lead a map. They've got some work to do on I some would call this an advantageous dust two T well, side. Truthfully, I feel this match is, is more of a 50-50 match. Um, but the reason for betting on Cole is because of the odds. You know, I feel the 50-50 match, it is a 50-50 match in my opinion, so I'll bet on Cole, see if I can get some value out of it. We're going to get one flash from Miniker, and it might have been intended to ricochet off the wall and pop in maybe a cat player, but I don't think it worked the way Miniker wanted it to. Yeah, and this is a huge buy right now. I mean, this is really high risk, high reward buy. Right yes, now. it is. Charge out through mid, and our first player to the scene is Miniker. We have a wrap coming through the tunnels, and there's a scout battle that happened. We actually unfortunately missed it. Hiko will... Drop Dborn as he pushed out through the smoke, trying to make it to the B-tunnels. 
If he controls his ray, he's got Desi down. Shroud versus three. Let's see if the money will allow Shroud to make this sort of play. I don't think so. 2750. Do you try it though? In this position, no. It's not worth it. <laughs> you can kind of you can kind of tell he wants to. He's kind of like out in open space. I think he's he's looking for an opening right now. He's looking to see if any of the complexity members slip up, yeah. give him a peek that they shouldn't give. If he's able to get a kill, maybe he can prod in, see if he can get a second kill and go for it. Um, otherwise, just take that free kill and go. What he did is just wait around for 10 seconds, figured, hey, complexity's playing it safe. They're not going to peek. I'm just going to get out of here. He upgraded himself to a to an M4, so great save by him. That, that is exactly what you want to do in that situation, because they could potentially give you the round if they just kind of play like idiots, you know? But obviously Cole's too experienced for that, and they just all hid, and Shroud really can't win that round. If he goes through doors, he's going to get shot from three different angles, goes through windows, same thing. So Certainly. That momentous buy did benefit them. That, that was a huge buy, like you said. Just Gallows, a scout here or there, it didn't make a whole lot of sense. But now that it worked, apparently it's pure genius. Spray down through T-Spawn, down to mid-double doors. It doesn't do any damage, but it certainly scares a couple people. We've got to push through long, and the first one in the door is Deborn. Why does KTB oh. keep doing that? Because he uh, naded himself. That was a great need by Jordan Nothing Gilbert. It was. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. I, we're just going to let, uh, let everybody digest that one. One of the things, while they're all repositioning themselves, that I want to add is, with the SIVO rules, and you have 15 seconds or more of round time on T side, it's actually kind of weird calling in that situation. Because, you know, those 15 seconds are actually really huge. And in theory, you should definitely have a better T side because of that extra 15 seconds. But, I mean, neither of these teams so far on Inferno really showed that, that advantage. So We'd like to see that statistical skew. See if that benefits some some very microscopic way because that that is interesting to know we're gonna have another push through smoke in just a second here not before sean gears gets a kill on miniker and here kanji waits and hiko turns at the wrong second with his knife out turns on him couldn't get the gun out just in time so two versus two two versus one angers the last comes out and tries to trade before planting made the wrong call three to one the thing you want to look at right now is if you hit tab you're going to look at the money situation going in here they don't, Complexity doesn't really have the economy to buy this round. If they do, it's going to be a massive force buy. It's not worth it. And it looks Semphis like we already, Semphis already bought before the call was made. It looks like the rest of them are just going to have to follow suit. If they lose this round here, not only are they split by, still in spawn, leaving spawn, gave up map control, there's already a lower beep. Oh, I don't even know what's going on. Complexity, can... they just misbought because Semphis just said, I'm buying. Correct me if I'm yeah. wrong, Dazed. I, th yeah. I think the way you saw it is you had the surprise buy, or I, I quote, a surprise buy. The AK spray down, and the two pushing CTs were trying to make that calculated guess. They said probably eco, push them B tunnels, and then when they get shot at by AKs, they backed off. Mm -hmm. I think it's because they were spotted. Yeah, that too. That, so that's <laughs> that'll, that'll do it too. We got a spread on CT side here, and it's a. If they so, are going to walk into B, Desi should go huge right now. It's quite possible. It's all on him. Watch Desi right now. He's at the back platforms. Good two bursts. Claim Semphis and Miniker will do the same on another part of the map. The rest of the T-Force is all in the tunnels. And another one claimed by Desi playing the Jack in the Box fight. Anger and nothing in the last two. And this purchase this round was evidently not the right purchase. No kills claimed. Barely any damage done. And the round... Ooh, never mind. Nothing. Hits a nice two burst. He knows one's to his left. If he even... If he... You know, in the big hypothetical, he even makes it into bombsite B, which he won't try to. He'd walk right into another crossfire. So if he leaves, he has to know by now that somebody's lurking for him, and it's going to be Deborn right here. And he's he sets up for the contain, which is exactly what you want to do. Like, he played that so well. Whenever you have someone trapped, a lot of teammates want to flank, and they want to get the kill as the flanker. But what's way better to do is just get the contain. So All you right, know what? He it. can never come God. back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've told this to Josh many times. <laughs> no, but you always want to get that contain, and then you just have three players just sitting, watching one angle, and if he runs away, then you're just set up perfectly to just kill him, you know? He knows, I know, they know, Deborn knew, all five T's will move toward the double doors. That double nade in caught Semphis and does plenty of damage to Anger, and everybody's blind. This is terrible. Deborn just did that. He aced 
in a single magazine after the first kill. Yeah, really good long hold there. Just the pre-nades just weaken them so much. And then whenever you do that and they all rush out long with pistols, it's just, you just mow them down so easily. 10 and 1 he is now because of that. 5 and 1 is our scoreline, and we have guns again on Complexity's side. They'll go out to control mid, and most of the players from Anajuma are bunched up in a pretty tight formation. They were pretty heavily controlling mid. Look at the boost for lower B. That's not going to benefit anybody, but it doesn't matter, because D-Warn's showing you a master class about how to spray down T's. Finally dead after that one. Only one alive. Guess who? It's Hiko. How did he get this far up the map? We don't know, but he kind of does that sort of thing. Yeah, they kind of 4 one with Hiko Long, and the rest were going to take cat control, I think. And that was actually Cole's first buy round. And if they lose this buy round within... Because they pretty much lost it like straight up on that cat round, if or the cat play, if they lose it. That's really demoralizing, man. Like, the very first actual buy round you get where you all have AKs, okay. it was some second. flashes, kind of. The, the one round that they won was uh, they had weapons, and then they but kept they, three alive. Uh, and then they uh, lost the following round, right, which so second by round. Yeah, but but it's still really demoralizing nonetheless, right? Like it's five one. You just saved, I think, twice in a row, right? Or no, they had a shitty buy, and then they saved, yeah. and then like if they lose this round, it just sucks, man. That's a really demoralizing round to lose. Very, very um, much so. The other thing I wanted to point out is it's Deepborn and Miniker at the top of the scoreboards there, kind of the rifle and the op leads of the team kind of making those impacts on CT side, on T side, which is probably what's going to kind of propel them when, into into the lead. But we're going to see Hiko walking into the A with the bomb. When you're when you're top mid or lower B like that, and there's a lip above where the bomb is, I don't think that disappears off radar. I don't think they even know yet that the bomb is gone. And obviously um, they know now. Hiko's going to lead the site. CT spawn, this is an interesting spot and play headshot angles. If he can hit these shots and clutch this round, good god. Has one. Miniker is down, and Desi is the last. Gets sprayed down, and Hiko has a triple to clutch the round to put up the second. Good god. How does... He's a, he's a real American hero. I don't have I was, words to you. I mean, that was just a great clutch, I guess, but <laughs> manager was just really misplayed that. All they had to do was kill him when he was trying to get the bomb, you know? Hiko's clutched, and Benajimas we have... Benajimas is not in a bad spot right now, though. If they win this, Cole's going to be on a double save right here. Yeah, it'll break their money completely. Like, I they're don't... actually in a really good spot. I don't know that Anger saw those two players. The, the thing about Hiko's perspective is you just saw that he saw two players moving into lower B, and he didn't call it out for Anger. I think he might have just slipped past. But look, the 4-2 and two man, Yurikanji and Deborn, are sitting down there. Yeah, that guy upper is just a sitting duck right now. He's got oh, a teammate with him. And, yeah. I think Complex is going to force a B, B hit, like a full B hit. They're rotating back to spawn to go to tunnels. And they don't they don't have tunnel control. They don't have any control of cat. They don't have... Yeah, they're they're down in five versus three right now. This is looking very bad. There is a minute and a bit left on the clock. So they're going to have to try to get some kills here before they go into anything. But without having any map control at all, and and basically having the bomb still in T-spawn, this is a really bad situation for them. And like they said just a few moments ago, if they lose this round and they don't save any weapons, they're in a double eco because their money's bonus is going to be reset. They'll have 1400 bucks, and then they'll have after that and plus 1900 That's only like 3k for three of their players. And you know what? If I'm Manajuma and I win this round, and I know that they're going to double save... Since Hiko talked shit after after he won that clutch, <laughs> I would type "let you won that win that round" just so that you. Have to <laughs> Desi will step into the window and drop nothing. In the smoke, two remaining coal players, and they face down an op in the window who backs off and gives away his better position. I think he just shooting his head. That's gonna probably get him killed. He goes sprinting across the side to find that one plat player, and then we'll probably charge up to the boxes in case somebody else is still waiting for him. Nine seconds left, and there's a force bomb plant. They'll try to spray him through. It's probably not going to work out. One versus two. Hiko fights, and he loses. So we're going to have a defuse. You're going to see that double save, and do we get the troll? It might not be a double save because they did get the bomb down. How much money are they going to have? 22? Yeah. So they'll probably save once. It's 19. Yeah, they'll have, four, they'll have enough to, like, if they full save, don't buy any pistols here. Mm -hmm. They'll have an, 
what are they doing? They'll have they'll have enough for like AK armor flash or AK crap armor smoke flash, but it's not really enough to work. You want to kind of maximize the amount of money you have. Kind of buying up pistols like CZs and P250s and going 5P tunnels is a sure way to just throw away money. They're just pissing away their money right now, and it's really not what they need. Your Kaj is going to be a welcoming crew to Hiko. Gets one, then two, and then runs out of M4A1 bullets. Same thing. Every time he calculates that uh, eco round, he'll go in by himself or with a teammate and try to get some easy kills. He trades out two to one, does some serious damage to Sean Gears. I gotta ask, what is the thinking behind Semphis' P250 armor when it economically it drops him down to 15? Honestly, that's probably more of something that's just like a rage like buy kind of thing. <laughs> a rage buy. You know, just like snap buy and just like, god damn it, like look what just happened last round. They had two in lower B for a minute and we didn't even know about it. You know what I mean? Just like snap by, you know what I mean? Just like an on tilt type buy. Nice. I, the, the thinking is there's that. I mean, Anger's in a one versus four right now with a pistol. I don't think he's going to be able to do much. The other thinking that Sempus could have had there is that um, he feels like he's going to be able to make a standout play. He just had like a 2k in the round before. He's the only other player on the team that's really has any kills besides Hiko. So right now he's maybe thinking, you know what, I'll still have enough to buy AK armor next round. That's probably all I need. I'll probably get flashed in somewhere. I'm just going to get armor and a, and a gun, maybe get a kill, and then upgrade myself to a weapon that I pick up. I think that's what his actual thinking was there. But again, as they said, it's more of a, it could be more of a tilt, like, this is stupid, I'm just going to go for a kill because you guys don't know what you're doing. Bye. Deborn has pushed into the double doors, and then Miniker on the opposite side of the double doors will trade Hiko out as he jumped back across. There is an op on the field for Sean Cares, and it's interesting to see where he's going with this one because they're traveling together in one large caravan. Miniker sees him, he drops out smartly not to be, I mean, well killed, taken off the field, just like that. Anger's flash crouches one, finds the elevator player, Irukanji's gone, and they've got one more player to hold on to A for a little while, as Shroud stands on top of the lip down at long. I think he was just one-tapping the boxes, and he picked up an easy kill on Semphis. Good for him. Still, it won't stop the bomb plant. That will, though. That absolutely will. One versus one. Nothing versus Desi. A flash for a flash. On the platform sits Desi behind the two box. Nothing seems to know this. He'll come up over the top and try to see the top of his head. He didn't? Is he lagging? What is this? It looked like he lagged out or something. Like He's still got enough chance to get a headshot there, but I think he might have lagged his clutch away. Like, that was weird. Looking at his ping now, and he's down at 52. Could have been a spike. 8 to 2. Well. Yeah. I, I do think he lied because when you saw his crosshair, it just like warped, you know, way way below the screen. So I, I think he lagged out or something, for even if it was just a split second. And you can see he's in spawn now. Yeah, he is. Jumping attempt again. Sean Gears gets clipped in midair, and mini grand scopes right at the moment where he could have had another one in his face. He got one. No scope attempt is no good. Near Kanji will trade. They can have that all back next round if he protects this weapon, and I think he will. So all these T's have to go figure out a way how to get up cat, how to get through mid, how to pick up an easy kill with so many people behind these doors. How do we do this? We have really nothing. We, we bought our luxury pistols, so we have our PT-50s, we have our CZs, and nobody has a flash or anything, so what do we do? I think they have the, their eye on that off. I think they want to kind of force a kill on New York Angie there and then try to pick up a weapon. Um, they can't really force out cat or lung. They'll just get annihilated, so mid's their best bet. Well, Hiko has a chance, he's got one, and then he, on the death camera, does show that he was going toward Cat. Does he commit to it? Yeah, he does. He's coming back for it. And he brings down Shroud, he switches to his knife, not knowing that somebody else was in the elevator, so that's going to be 9-2. to two. We've seen this story before, Steel, and Days, I guess you were watching too. We've seen the story before, it's just that this map is a little bit more T-sided than the last... I think we're we're only going to see one, maybe two more rounds by Jumas here. I think Complexity is going to start picking it back up. We see Sean Gears actually with the op for the first time this half. So maybe this is where they kind of change the tide. I think, is this a fast day? No, it's just a bait. This is not. They're, no, out, is they're out the door. They're out the door, and Shroud made it to the pit. He did plenty of damage to Hiko's at 3 HP, and he's got to try to not get naded because they're thinking that. And Hiko was either going to get burned alive or naded. 
you'll still run through the smoke. Anger runs out of the smoke into fire, realizes that that's just a terrible idea, and then drops back out. It was a good attempt to at trade, but still, no luck. Same thing before. Desi's played this angle, and he's cleaned up everybody. He's gotten a total of four kills playing that exact ramp angle, and nobody's seemed to have been ready for him. Well, I guess in Cole's mind, it takes multiple people to plant the bomb. So they wanted to run up a site instead of like one guy staying bricks. Like if Semba stayed bricks there, they actually probably could have won that run. Because he would have killed the guy coming up spawn. Assume that guy can plant the bomb by himself. He'd go lurking outside like long or something like that. They would actually be favorites for that round for sure. They could be. They've bought rifles this round. They're on a significant losing streak bonus and they've split to control mid, to control B, lower B, then get to mid. And Manicure is just out in open space here. Not even a care in the world. It's the first trade here. Kanji's down. Mr. Semphis must have seen that bolt pull from Minikur will allow Semphis to slide on through, pick it up, maybe even give an op back to his teammates. There's a trade. If somebody can nade Deborn, it'll go back to a three versus two. They'll drop out, play to the site, and oh no, Desi gets caught with a, I think, a flashbang out. I think this is where it's important to note what the different, like, where the line between confidence and overconfidence is. We saw Jumas just like, kind of getting overconfident. We saw Deborn, who is it? Uh, Desi pushing straight up mid, got taken out. Miniker just kind of overpeaking mid after his teammate was dead, died. Here's the first attempt. I think Anger's gonna walk out. Doesn't matter. Shroud's too fast for him. Turns on him, kills him, diffuses. Wow. We'll get a little start. Really nice it was a really nice shot. I think he's gonna pump that bomb a little bit just to let you know how good it was. And then we 11 to 2 after. <laughs> Just give him a chance for a D1 to pick yeah. the up. Yeah, <laughs> just wanted That's... me to pop. <laughs> but I like yours more. I, 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 I think it sounds cool. Like, I'm just going to defuse this a couple times, let you guys know. Yeah, you could do laps over the bomb, or over the bomb site. Yeah. That's <laughs> a good site. I like doing that. You can teabag. Teabag. Sure, That's good. Sure. Teabag the bomb, teabag the, the enemy. Yeah, you could te have one person teabag, another person do a victory lap, and then you can uh, trade off. You need that NBA, like the two players jump at each other and collide in midair. That's a good yeah. one. Or like <laughs> your <bump>. hurdles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are we even talking about here? A walk out of B. Desi's on top of the two box. Somehow makes it out alive and nobody trades him. He'll be in the site calling for help. He sees two. And, com and he did see the bomb carrier, I think, right before he died. And Shroud is here on the rotate. Oh no, nothing looked away at the wrong moment. So two versus three on the retake. They're all right. That one player is isolated and they got to figure out how to kill him as fast as possible. They have really no information about where Deborn is, and he's in the right position. Yep, the right position. Two versus two, you're split everywhere. You have limited information about where this last player is, but you kind of know he's got to be around the bomb, so you 2v1 the, the bomb defender, right? Not when it's Shroud. I just run away. <laughs> he's too sick. He'll molly them. And they have to run in. They'll probably grab it through the fire, run back toward B. I think Shroud knows it. And we'll tell his teammate, don't you worry. We'll just go for the retake after the smoke clears. Deepburn's got a full nade set right here. So they can molly a site, flash a couple times, smoke it. Uh, it's it's a great position to be in. But I, I'm not agreeing with the splitting up in the situation. Shroud has a burst for Hiko. He drops him. Two versus one. And Anger will step into the smoke and try to make the huge play. He's got one. Now he's outside the door, safe away from Shroud. Will pop flash, maybe even try to re-enter the site with his back turned. Shroud will charge him, and in turn win the same battle that he won the last round. Yeah, except it was opposite this time. This time Shroud was at the doors. Yeah, that's you true. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> 12 to 2. I mean, I, I said earlier, like, both teams are really CT side. I thought this staff would be more like 10-5, but I don't know, man. Cold does not take their time at all whenever they get these guns. Like, they're fully naded up, flashes, smokes, everything. And every single time they've had a quick or a round like this where they actually have resources, they just rush. Let me and ask you. It looks you, like they're going to do the same thing along. Yeah, I, I'm going to hold off on my thought because they may do just that. And they'll back off, let that frag nade do about 30. To go. Okay, so we, we have that lull. Actually, we have a fast cat. So I'm going to say this as fast as possible. Let's say Jumas take this. We're on DE nuke. Where do we go and who wins that one? We shouldn't I talk about it, Nuke yet. Yeah. Um, we're going to have like half time. Or, okay. Or not half time, but the, the after. Okay. There's the trade. We got to see how it plays out. 
Still one alive in the goose. And the pre-fire from nothing will drop him. He'll try to plant and not get picked from sh by Shroud at long distance. So I guess he's dead. He's not going to. And a step out. Anger has Desi dropped as he was jumping through, making a little bit too much noise. We got one in lower B. And Minikur doesn't really know that somebody was there waiting for him. So at least we have the three round pistol round buffer. 12 to 3 is your halftime score. You're watching Seaboy TV. Joined with uh, with me today is Steel and Daze, Divide by Power. I know uh, I know. Klops asked Steel this, and he deferentially, very politically correctly said, no preference, but who do you want to play in the uh, Grand Final? Um, I'd rather play Manajuma, just because it's, like, different. It's new, you know? We've played against Cole so many times. Everybody's seen us play against Cole so many times. Like, this would be just a nice difference of just, you know... Just, just something new, you know? It, it gets old, us playing Cole all the time. Well, this isn't new. This is the most classy you can possibly do. It's a split A, 3-2. And we're on the ramp. It's nothing. <laughs> gets destroyed. D1's going to come wrap around from uh, pit, the platform. Excuse me. Shoot Sean Garris, who's inside the pit. Three alive for the CTs. And Shroud is trying to pick up that kill on Zephyr. He's got it. Only one alive now. It's Anger. And I don't think... He's going to pull that one off. 13 to 3. Uh, you want to talk about Nuke now? <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. No, that's just... We'll, it's we'll joke, do it at that. Yeah. yeah, it's... Uh, I've, I've won this 5-7 round before a couple times. So. Yeah, a couple... <laughs> You're really modest, time. Huh? <laughs> they need this one as Daze was just suggesting. And it didn't start out the way that they were hoping for. Zemphis is out squatting in the middle of the old Noah boost spot. Actually, a little bit further back from that. Still didn't pick up the kill, and there's a good set of pistol pickups. There's no guns recovered, however. We got a Lurk, and he's in really, really good position. I think Hiko kind of knows, and he's waiting for Desi to pick up that gun and a kill, obviously. And I think we have that 5-7 round that you called for. Yep. Minikur is one on three. Has one, then two, and reloads his weapon. There's Hiko in the doorway, one on one. And that battle's lost. Hiko's just patience. barely. It's just Hiko's patience. Like, you can't outlurk Hiko. He knew that spawn drop was coming. Once he once he was in that one versus one with Minikur, we saw Minikur, if, if he had X-ray on. Minikur was kind of like... What do I what do I do? What do I look like? Uh, what do I look at? Rather, he was looking at the door. As soon as he looks over at the window, because he's unsure as what, to where he was going to come from, Hiko peeks around the corner and gets the kill on him. So, Hiko played that well. He's keeping his team in the game. Like th this game, Inferno, it's all it's basically Hiko. Like they should just change the team name to Hiko. <laughs> really, Dusty went way too early dropping off Cat there. I mean, yeah, it was like a bit as a as, well. as a rule of thumb. If you if your teammates can get the bomb down, like there's no rush, and his teammates could get the bomb down. You know he could have waited a really long time there. He could have waited like ten seconds probably, yeah. to be honest. Dborn had eyes on it. He saw nobody came up from spawn, so he just went way too early there. Sean Gares and nothing are fighting in ta team tandem at the top of the catwalk. They've claimed four, and that leaves Desi by himself. The number five man has the bomb. But he's not going to do too much with it. He's going to sit right here at the double doors and hope to clothesline somebody with this P250. So after this round, uh, we missed a bomb. No, we got a bomb plant. We have a buy available next round. And let's check the money on specific. If I was them, I would save, though. I, and I think they will save. There's no rush. When you have this much yeah. of a round lead, you don't need to force rounds um, by buying pistols and trying to like do anything fancy. You could just full save kind of maybe peck away at one or two guns with your Glocks and maybe try to get a bomb plant. That's that's your goal. Uh, you don't need to do anything else. You've got so many rounds, so much buffer in rounds where you can just do a full save and do a proper buy and have more of a chance in your gun rounds because you have more equipment that you can work with. More it's going to be interesting to see what Manajuma does on T-side because we saw Cole was doing a very fast-paced type of T-side. Um, they did a couple B walks, like 4 1 B walks and things like that. But for the most part, they were playing pretty damn quick. I think they did like maybe three fast A's or something like that. Maybe even four, I don't know. 
I wasn't completely counting. And I'm curious to see if Nanajima is going to do like a fast pace. Oh my god. That's a bomb plant. Slow. That's a bomb plant. Yes, it is. Oh, what they're going to do here. Desi has not so much HP, but his mission's already accomplished. Bomb plant will give them plenty of money. You see right now the top player in terms of economy for Nanajima sits at 2-8. And you'll see it as it gets diffused, what it looks like after. Come on, math. Come on, math. 5-5. Five, five. Now do we buy? Oh, of course. Yeah, oh, we yeah. do. Definitely do. Loads of money. Loads of money. That mini car had a huge load there. Got a massive load, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we have seen a bit of the offense from Man and Dream on D Inferno where they bunch up and are content to rotate back and forth and roam back and forth, but uh, I'm interested to see whether or not they split No, they don't. No, they don't. They actually are going to spray down Hiko as he tries to make it back to the elevator. He doesn't. Your Kanji finds him. Do they know that nothing is at the car? I cannot believe that just worked. What? I cannot. I. That was just so much blind AK fire that claimed two kills. It might have all been luck, but it was all... And he's going to die too. Oh, oh my oh, god. Semphis is in the smoke. What the hell is going on? Well, why is Sunfish just walking into bullets, though? <laughs> I think they may have seen, like, half a player this round thus far. Yeah, really. That's a, that's a tough way to lose a round, man. That was... That was actually beautiful. We compliment some awesome-looking Counter-Strike right there. That was, that was really cool. That's what happens though if you commit to long A and then at the very last second a CTs run away and the T's are rushing the corner like that, like they were throwing deep flashes and rushing the corner. If you watched Kiru Kanji there, like he was not gonna stop rushing at that corner. Like his whole goal was to get to the corner. <laughs> yeah, he, it was. He ran the entire way. And that's what happens if you if you kinda bitch out at the last second. If you're gonna if you're not gonna go long as soon as you see presence, you need to run away immediately and get back to cat. Like off like the first flash that you see, or the second, not like the fifth or the sixth, because then you just get stuck in that no man's land, and then that like even if even if they didn't get all those kills through the smoke, even if they only got that first one that Hirokanji got, they still would have been favorites to win that round, right? So that's what happens when you kind of don't leave early enough or you don't commit. We got anger spotting. If he calls that B player, he calls for a rotate, he'll actually call correctly because the bomb carrier happens to be in the tunnel. Semphis comes in and helps the cleanup process and then gets traded. Unfortunately, Angers has to fight by himself with the sidearm and Irukandji is coming for that quick cleanup that he does get. So three versus three is our current face-off. And I think you're going to see a peaking... Oh, Irukandji missed that one. Odd enough, it looked like he had the drop on him. So Desi versus three, we've seen that story before. He did manage to get the job done. Proverbially. Go with the contain. Yeah, I think Desi has to know that this is going to be a contain. He doesn't win the battle though, so it's going to be 14 to 6. And that's what Daze was talking about a few rounds ago, where uh, when Dborn was you know, as, as Hika was there, where you don't need to flank, you can just sit there, wait for the enemy to come back, and try to um, go somewhere else in the map, and then. He's got too many angles to kind of look for you, and Tico had the perfect contain there. But again, that felt like Menajuma got too confident. They got overconfident, and they almost they almost won it back because Semphis overextended massively there. He he peaked B, he got a kill, and then he re-peaked for some reason against a couple of enemies, where he almost like lost around for his team. But they were able to pull it out again. That's a nice entry Ooh. by Dborn there. That was a very nice entry. Slides out, hits a beautiful one, and Sean Gear's body. Cartwheels backwards down well, to the CT. You see plant. how all five are going for the plant right now? That's exactly what you do not want to do. Four of them are on the site right now. You got to get back towards like bricks on cat and take control of that. We'll see Drew's, if that's a. Drew's doing a decent job there, but. We'll see if that's a fulfilling prophecy right now. As everybody gets cleaned up in one small firing window, Irukandji tries, tries desperately to stop that bomb plant. That box is spammable. You don't think he realizes that somebody's on it though, so 14 to 7. Yeah, we saw how when they're all clustered, when Manager was all clustered on that bomb site, one flash can effectively disable the entire team. And we just saw nothing coming up the ramp and just slaughtering them like like cattle. So not not the greatest of positioning for Manager there after getting the bomb plant. They want to get people to keep cat control. They want to have a person peeking down long, maybe a person on the bomb site. We're gonna see the oldest rat in the book. 
literally the oldest. Rush B. Doesn't really work. Nope. Semphis and Anger combined for a 2-3 on that one. 14-8. And I don't know if you noticed, but Complexity used to have Hiko at B and Anger at long, but they actually switched it. I did notice oh. that. I actually mentioned that one, I think, earlier in the playoffs. Oh, yeah. You did? Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know when they made that switch. I guess it was after SoCal? I guess so, because at SoCal when it was uh, it was Hiko would be. Yeah, we we saw it one time. I think it was just like a, a personnel switch up though, and it wasn't official. I guess I guess you could call this official. Yeah, I think so. We've got a bomb dropped outside of bomb side B. No commitment yet. It's gonna work through mid control and find out where exactly we're gonna go. And this is the first time in the entire half that we've seen Manajuma play loose and then a sort of a default sort of formation where they're gonna to try to work toward a pick after, excuse me, they work toward a site after they find their pick or they just shoot Sean Gares in the back. I can't believe they let Sean Gares walk away from that. Odd. He'll get his Almost dead. Yeah, he'll get a second chance to come back for that player if he slides out and peeks, but they're flashing him and smoking him off, making this a typical shot, and he's going to stand up on top of the car and miss an equally easy shot. Standoff, it's five versus five, and a five-man retake is always the most fun to watch. Unless nothing charges you. There's the trade. Same thing, bunched up on the platform the way we didn't like it last round. But since there are no flashes being thrown right now, I guess it's the right call. Desi claims Hiko down at long, and Semphis will be there to trade for that player at the ramp. He's got a flash out, and Anger has to turn around to save his teammate. They're going to crossfire backwards, and they get that player on top of Cat. It's Deborn versus two. He has none. It's going to be 14 to 9. The one difference in that round, though, um, just to point it out, is that Miniker was by Greenbox, so he had the cat flank locked down. There was no possible way that any of the complexity members could have been coming up cat. That told the team that the, the remaining counter terrorists were coming up through CT spawn and long loop. Those were the only two ways in. And the Miniker was rotating back. If Miniker had ac actually got there a moment earlier and kind of stayed alive and, and made a crossfire from a ramp and cat together uh, towards like CT ramp, they would have had a chance in that round, but Complexity with the very, very strong uh, 5v5 retake there pulled it through. There seems to be just like the smallest cracks, even even through humor of frustration from Irukandji's squad. It's like, this is, you guys oh, keep he's, winning. Oh, he's definitely frustrated. Yeah. How could you not be? If you have full A site control and you lose both those rounds, that's... That's pretty aggravating. So, maybe, and by maybe I mean definitely, we started talking about Nuke way too early. But Man and Jim still has a commanding lead. They still have AKs on the round, and they've got their own map that they chose, and they've been practicing that perhaps Cole had not. And once again, they have complete A site control. Um, not A site, excuse me, cat control. So they could pretty much do whatever they want right now. And because of the extra 15 times, they have a minute to work with right now. So we'll see what they want to do here. Looks like they're going to do an A fake to mid B. We saw a, uh, a flash from Long. He goes got a, has a scar, by the way. We saw a flash from Long for Sean Gares to peak Goose. And I don't think Irukandji took the hint. I think he still peaked Sean Gares, though that flash was clearly to allow the Goose player to slide out and peak him. One extra kill there. That doesn't happen. Anger actually had the drop on Deborn, it turns out. So stand up and kill Miniker. And that's going to be 14 to 10. Now the comeback is probably on. They have the right idea though, like what they want to do is go mid B right now. Because they have Eskares and Hiko, auto snipe and AW. One of them cannot really watch along, so they're going to have three A players. They're going to have their M4 along probably, unless they do any something different here like peak middle, which it looks like they'll probably do. But they have the right idea there, like if they could take mid B, and even if they make it a 3v3, it's going to be so difficult for them to retake, right? You're not running through a spawn smoke with an AW. You're not running through a spawn smoke with an auto sniper, most likely. And if you do, you should die, right? So they definitely had the right idea there, just the lack of execution. Hirokanji getting killed by the Goose player um, while he attempts the A Um But it was definitely the right call to go to be. Another thing they could try doing, although it is a lot riskier, is um, knowing that they have the off and, and auto sniper on A, 
and trying to do a pinch on the on the uh, through long and cat at the same time. If you throw flashes and smokes over long, the first thing that they're gonna do is fall back to cat and try to like play long from cat. But then if if uh, enemies are crunching them from cat at the same time, it can oh, be like a, a fast perfect split. split. Right, a right, fast A split, like yeah, three a fast A split would work too. It's going to be 14-11, and that eco round affords Miniker and Ob. Huge cascading flashes, and all of the Manajuma squad, Sans 1, are trying to force their way in. Nothing makes it exceptionally difficult. We're going to have a triple combined, and a nice spray transfer from Semphis. He picks up a double, actually, so that'll be a quad total for the team, leaving just Shroud to get gunned down to the catwalk. 14-12, to 12, official comeback. Cool. Here we go. I don't think there were enough flashes on that <laughs> take. Uh, no, like seriously, you want you want to do a couple of flashes, kind of get the counters to throw their counters, throw more flashes, and then kind of pressure them back, not rush into them, but kind of like force them backwards a tiny bit. Oh, that's a nice deal by Sean. Um, that's that's exactly what they need to do to keep pulling their way into the game. It for forgive the the play by play making a. Uh, a comment about Counter Strike, but I, it made a little bit of sense. You think you have two scoped weapons there? They're not going to want to stick around if they're flashed. If they had rifles, I could see the exchange of flashes, right? Yes. Well, what you want to do, like you don't want to get caught in a close range combat with an off or an auto sniper. You, it's just not a, a situation you want to be in. A rifle, like an AK, is probably going to win the battle eight out of ten times in that in that proximity. Now we saw the two quick rotations coming in. I think that was nothing with the rifle and Semphis with the rifle as well. That's basically what made them win that round there. But having four players go out long there is kind of not the right play you want. You want to have three people pressuring long, forcing the counter tears to fall back to the A site, and you have two people quick up cat shooting those players that are falling back in the back. That is the play. But there they kind of put all of their um, efforts in, in one location. They went all in basically long, and that's kind of what, what lost them that. It was. There's some sort of sad irony about Desi waiting by himself to die with an AK that said teamwork. And uh, we're at 14-13. Complexity's one behind the lead, and we're going to have a forced buy. We're down to zeros for Irukandji and Desi, everybody actually, down to 100 net total dollars for all of Manajuma. So you've crippled yourself, and this seems to be like an all-in. Lower B push. It works. Semphis got him. Does he move back? Sean Gares is there out at mid supporting. He's got an op and he's been spotted. So he needs to tell his teammate that we probably need to get out, Semphis. Or we'll just control banana, or excuse me, lower B like a boss. How do you. How do two you. Two maps so far, I think Nanajuma's won one T side round, right? Or two. Two. Uh, right? yeah. It's hard, to, it's hard to swallow. You said it. <laughs> it's hard to swallow, huh? It's brutal. It's brutal. You know what I mean. Uh, uh, it's tough to swallow. Oh, damn. <laughs> and on that subject, right now, Anger, Sean Gares, and Hiko, just as individuals, have bigger loads than the entire Manajuma squad. Look at their loadout. What? They got $15,000. Wow. This cast, by the way, that player at Goose and that player at Long is going to make this really hard to get to the site. They've got no flashes. The Miniker and Deborn tried to run across the open top of the catwalk. It's never going to work against that sort of setup. So Desi's the last again with his teamwork AK, and he can do a quad clutch and make us celebrate how amazingly good he is. If he can just turn around, which he doesn't, it's all tied up 14-14. That's, right. a, that's a huge money load. It's it's not looking good. I mean, we're seeing the force buy. Every member on Jumos right now is thirty-four, thirty-five hundred dollars. We're seeing the force buy here. We see uh, the Galil buy on on Deep End, so you can get room for smokes and flashes. But everyone else is just AK armor. There's a smoke on Desi. That's it. That's all they have. They're gonna have to rely on a pure B hit or a B split, like a fast B split. Those are the only plays. They, I don't. I just. This is so dangerous. They walk through the smoke. And Semphis is missing all of his shots. It doesn't really matter. Nobody's looking. Where are their communications? How come nobody called him out? This is somewhat confusing. But what's not confusing is how good Complexity has turned it on in the second half. Like you called a CT-sided team. 15 to 14. Cole sits on the game point. And if you did your math, they've won the first game. 
and they sit on the verge to a, the trip to the grand finals versus you guys, I buy power. Mm -hmm. And I bet on Coles here, so I'm probably going to be able to buy a new car after this. Thanks for the skins. <laughs> easy skins, easy life. Yeah. Good looking pop flash from nothing as he crosses, but nobody's actually in there. Deborn's the closest, and he does play entry, but he's not attempting it just yet. So this is overtime or bust. How do you get this done if you're a Jumas? Well, they don't have any nades, so they can't do any smoke executes. Mm. They can't really straight peek stuff because they all have auto slams and hops, right? So you kind of well, just have to guess. Not anymore. Oh, yeah. Sean lost the op there, so in a 3 versus 3 situation right now, best bets. Mm, I don't agree with straight B play. It might work. It's all dependent on who's at the back of B platform. That's anger right there. If he's able to get an early spot, get a kill, and then just hide until his teammates go to support, uh, I think this might go in a fit. Oh, oh, that is a huge kill by Desi, and it's going to be a three versus two, actually. Yes, it will be. We may be seeing overtime if Hiko eats one more of those bullets. They pierce. Desi gets him. One versus three. Nothing. Sometimes maligned player of complexity has this game on the line. Two at the back of the site. One in the car, and you can see his rifle. That's pierceable. And you didn't pick up the kill. That's tragedy for Miniker, who relocates in that box. Maybe not as spammable. We may be going overtime, folks. It's 15-15. It's going to be a best or a first, a first two four. There's going to be 16,000 a pop. I don't believe it. You saw nothing from Manajuma for the entire second half. And they piece it together with one good-looking headshot on anger. I would just want. I, I would. I would ask for like a timeout for like 30 seconds, a minute, and just talk about stuff right now for sure. This I'd say one's funny. going to the bathroom and try to figure out something that will work. They'll move their way into long spray down and do plenty of damage to nothing. If they continued it, they would have had a kill. So you have your entire economy restored. That's that's got to be a sigh of relief by itself. Oh, definitely. How do you change your game plan now? Because clearly that 5 AK thing with no nades is not doing it for you. I think they need to go mid B. Um, complexity has has consistently put three players at A, and mid B is definitely where you know you could definitely uh, get some trade kills and then take B in like a three v three scenario. And, and generally, you should be able to hold it. Four versus four, shroud. Lurked nothing. Back at the blue dumpster, and he'll move outside along to rejoin his teammates. The bomb is at B, moving in, and the number nine man is in the site. He has to see Desi collapse. Oh, man, collapsed on him. He had that two burst. Looked really good. Two alive for complexity. And suddenly, after the economy got restored, Manajuma is able to string together two consecutive rounds if we don't see something miraculous. Oh. <laughs> that move. Yeah. What? That's dangerous, right? Shroud spanned literally from, I'm going to go free camera, spanned literally from here and killed this guy. He always does that, man. He has like a sixth sense of where people are, and he just gets from the craziest here. wall bangs. From here to here. That's not even a common, that is so uh -huh. weird. 1615. <laughs> My god. Okay. Remember. It's three, uh, three rounds per half, so we've got this one. You don't really have money problems in SIBO as you start at max, which is to some people's likes and dislikes, but... You start with a full load. Yeah. Is it? I thought it was only like a 10 out of 16 load. We were we were all thinking it. You guys said it. No, 10, 10k, isn't it? No, no, no. That's, is uh, it 16? It's oh. 16, yep. The more you know, I've... Hope we never go overtime. Full loads. So you got your main control, and you've got maybe you can see Wait, that bomb flash. Look at the boost. Yeah, we do have that. Look at this on top of the catwalk. I've actually looked away from it just to show you guys the stack. Miniker's looking back up over the top of mid to the close corner where that Humvee is or those bricks are. And that's usually where Semphis likes to peek out a lot from. So they're kind of waiting for for that or Sean. Uh, to come around and peek. Because they see that Sean's not in mid, they should probably guess that it's the 3A2B setup, which is prime positioning for a uh, B split. The, that is their play here. Uh, I think that's what they're set up for. They have the double scope set up at A right now, and that's going to be how coming to that mid to B smoke. Through that CT spawn smoke. 
that's going to be tough to get through. It will be. So this round hinges on the performances of the two players who are already in bombsite B. That's Semphis and They're Anger. A four man upper take with only one player out, out mid, so... Semphis wins that battle, and so does Anger. The sort of unlikely... Oh, well, just a little bit too soon to call that one over. Because Shrouds. the Shroud just destroyed everyone coming uh, coming in his general direction. But he's got a bomb plant to have. And you got three... CTs to split up between the, the halls and the tons. They have the numerical advantage, but inside the site you've got plenty of cover and this is going to be tough, tough sledding. You got two scoped weapons also to try to retake in Bob's IB, which is uncomfortable to say the least, and Deborn's going to see the arm of nothing. He wins that. They'll call out that one's in tons. Shroud finds the jawbone of Sean Gares, and Hiko has to go one on two. He's won these before, but this one just seems like it's not likely. Or he'll just auto sniper spam. Back in the tunnels, you can try to commit that defuse, but D boy. Oh my god. No, timer. Oh my lord. So close. So, so close. 17 15. And, I mean. Daze, what do you think about that, that B hit? Like, I, I think it should be 4 out mid, 1 B. As opposed to four B well, one out mid. I think they were just assuming that they were because because complexity. What they like to do with B is a lot of the time they like to play double inside B or they like to play double outside B. So I think they thought that they were just going to play double outside B and they would just be able to kind of walk in freely. So yeah. it was like a bit of a gamble and it didn't really pay off. But then due to that huge individual performance, they were able to you know win the round. Desi's had already made it in toward bomb side B and gives up his. Uh... I guess his aggro lurk role as his teammates are on the opposite side of the map at Palm trying to control mid. Still at the top of mid and Sean Gears has moved from his position at mid to the platform where Anger normally played and Desi felt confident to be. That's clever. That's a good that's a good mix up in personnel management. Oh for sure. Anytime you're moving an op around and making them guess where it is, it's it's a good idea. Hiko being on the catwalk without an auto sniper, probably also a good idea. You got Two left for the T side. That's a 17 HP Shroud and a dead Deborn. So let's follow this last guy. He's Shroud. Apparently, he's still Money Shroud with the uh, dollar sign. So for Cole, yeah. they're going to have a fully bought rounds for overtime. And I'm just interested to see what they do. If they just try to rush or if they try to take out lock control and then do some type of strat or, you know, I mean, really. I really have no idea what they're going to do here. <laughs> Is Sean going to op or not? That's the that's the question. They've got the money, obviously. There, he picks up the op. So it's probably going to be more defaulty. Like, more defaulty going for picks. as And then into an execute, as opposed to anything quick. Likely true. If you guys don't like doing the, the tougher math, all you got to know is it's the first to 19. Manajima is two away. Cole, of course, is three away. And on the opposite side of the smoke, Anger has an opponent just waiting for him. That stare down. Ominous. Mid this control is the first time that they put a op here on the ledge of Catwalk. Um, he misses the Sempus, but it was, it, was, it was definitely a good idea to put that op there. They moved him back. Irukandi drops back toward the cars and will wait. So mid control is always the top of the list of priorities to do in Dust 2. Cole has bunched up there. All five are in and around the area. Did you just see that? Did I just see a medium strength toss? I've never seen anyone ever use the medium flashbang toss. I think Shroud's about to pick up nothing. If he just gets a little sloppy and peeks long, there it is. And maybe a second on top of the platform. He could try to plant while under duress. You spread out now, back at the choke points. Anger's right on top of Shroud. And he loses the battle, which could have claimed the round for complexity. Now it begins to fall apart, and Manajuma will be sitting on their game point. That's nice it. Shot. So th the thing you have to realize with Anger there, though, is that that's not his medium strength throw. That's his weak throw, okay? He is so <laughs> strong. Like, his arm's got so much strength in it that his weak throw just gets launched, okay? That's his right click. It just goes that's, out in his face. right click. Yep. <laughs> Right into the enemy's feet. One round away from Manajuma pushing this to a third map. Appropriately because these two teams are showing again and again how evenly matched their games have been. A lot of ops. A oh. lot. 
of us. Just got destroyed <laughs> through Jordan's auto snipe. They were waiting by the door to cross, and nothing. Just decided to aim at the door and spam right through. They've started the round on a good on a good note with Minikur down to 34 HP, and they'll play off, waiting for a push, perhaps trying to read into the mind of Irukandji and try to find out what he's so, got to plan. Here's the thing with complexity: they just didn't a hit, but. Mediocre was playing from heavy mid B. They actually had three players on the B side, right? And they went A and they still, you know, complexity lost the round even though they had two A. So right here, if you're Manny Juma, do you say, okay, they just went A and we held it with two. There's no way they do it again. Or do you say, you know what, they went A, they saw two, so they're probably going to come A again, you know? Well, it looks um, like the split B is their decision. You see Anger waiting for his teammate to tell him to go. It's going to be a split B. That bomb's going back into the B tunnels. You got about 55 seconds, right about that time where we get toward commitment time. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Then Desi trades. We'll come back. He's held out in open space, not thinking that anyone else is there left to wrap. And this means Complexity's got full access to the bomb side. Two left, both coming from A. And Semphis sees that person pressing through the dying smoke there. That nade probably does it. Oh, how did it do no damage? Shroud's the last one alive. Boosted on top of the box. He'll probably get a kill here. We'll probably win the round. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> or not. Complexity pulls within one. The Shroud, so like, you really just never know, right? Anything's possible. Look, look, I just want to, I'll pull up that tab screen one more time. Look at the contributions from everyone on Complexity. Picking it up in the second half after playing really poorly on T-side. Good looking stuff. Okay, so <laughs> you had the you had the the call, right? You said, "Do we go? Do we go A? Do we go B?" We were clearly a little bit wrong, and we're gonna aggressively stack on Cat if we can figure out how to jump like this. You're still three A. Do you, if you were calling this, keep three A? If I'm mediocre, yeah. Well, you kind of have to have it because I mean, you have two on Cat. You have to have someone watching long, right? So it's kind of like your only option. Yeah, right or you could run 2-1-2. Two two. Mid controlled again, the bomb comes back, and Hiko's going to try to pick mid, or at least... It's kind of tough to 2-1-2, two two, though, if you have an opper on Cat, because, like, usually they can't stand fight, and they can't really be, like, in Cat, you know? Yes. So they usually have to be, like, above the ledge and stuff like that. So it's kind of hard to 2-1-2 two two if, if you have an opper on Cat. This is looking... Like it's sliding slightly toward Manajuma. Just a little bit. It's tense. You can see that complexity is not willing to commit anywhere, especially not with the smoke in their eyes, clearly. And they'll bunch up together. Probably the right decision to turn their numerical deficit back into an advantage. They'll smoke in for CT. And then flash in for Goose. Shroud was at the headshot angle at the top of the ramp. And Hiko drops down by the smoke and is trying to lurk Shroud. He needs to turn to his right, but he turned a little bit too far. Irukand was on top of the car. And he misses a quick scope attempt. And a 5-7 attempt. It's two on two. And we're all evened up. We could be tied in overtime in just short order if Complexity holds on. Otherwise, Manajuma pushes this to our third map. It's definitely a winnable clutch for Anger, though. Anger wants to turn this into a one-on-one -on -one first. And right. Minikur sees just an elbow. That'll be a defuse, and that means we're going to nuke. And that was, that was a right. really smart play by Kyle, by Minikur, to just, he had 25 health. If he would have aggressed, he would have died for sure. And just to take the angle and just be patient like that, that was really intelligent. So, you wanted to talk about nuke, right?